Today I'll be looking back at Pong. The object of Pong is to get the ball past your opponent's paddle. The first one to score 11 points wins. And it's easy to keep track of score thanks to the giant counters obscuring the top of the screen. There are tiny gaps at the top and bottom you want to aim for. Because the paddle can't reach it, but the ball can. And this game is best enjoyed with two players. But there are four difficulty levels if you want to play with yourself. The original Pong used a dial, and thanks to the crafty development from Code Mystic, you can use your controller's analog stick as a knob. And this was really cleverly implemented, and you wouldn't know it from just jumping in and using the thumbstick as you would normally. But the controls are good, and they work when held correctly. The only thing that doesn't work is the corner glitch, which would be fine if it were just a simple exploitation. The problem is, is that a new ball can appear already headed in the direction of the no-fly zone. And this can continue for several points in a row, which is game-breaking. But luckily, this emulation comes with the ability to remove that little gap, as well as set the match points to 15. But if I play without the gap, then I can't score even a single goal on the hardest setting. I'm pretty sure the artificial intelligence is perfect at this point. There's still a strange glitch that will bring the ball around to the other side of the screen, but there just doesn't seem like a way to get past the computer. Overall, Pong is a fun distraction and a novel idea that started the gaming industry. So let me ask, has anyone played the original Pong machine? If so, how does it hold up today? And have you tried Pong on Atari Flashback Classics Volume 1? Start a dialogue in the comments. And visit the website GameTestPlay.com